Hello English learners, in this video I will explain to you the first case of nouns which is the uh, nominative case. So when we say the nominative case, I want you to focus on four things. What are they? The first thing is that when the first word of the sentence works as the subject of an action verbs. And here we call this word in Arabic Al-Fa'il Al-Fa'il Li-Fa'il al haraka For example, we could say the teacher explains the lesson. So who explains the lesson? The teacher. The teacher is the subject, is the doer of the action. What does the teacher do? The teacher explains the lesson and explains is an action a verb because uh, this verb convey a thing from the doer of the action to the receiver of the action. And when we say what does the teacher do? The teacher explains the lesson. The lesson is the object of the sentence. So the verb here is an action verb and the first word before the action verb is called the subject which is in Arabic al-fa'il and the word that comes after the action verb is called the object and it's called in Arabic al-maf'ul bihi. The nominative case uh, refers also to the subject of the linking verbs and what comes after the linking verbs. Let's start by the subject of the linking verbs. Of course, before anything, I want to tell you that linking verbs are different from action verbs and they don't convey anything from the door of the action to the receiver of the action. On the contrary, they are words that are used to link the words before the verb and the words that come after the verb and sometimes we don't translate them at all they are, are only found in the sentence in order to join these two words but there is no need to translate them so the subject of the linking verb is called in arabic al mubtada and the words that come after the linking verb are called in English the subject complement and in Arabic al khabar. So, what is al mubtada in English? It means the subject of the linking verbs. And what is al khabar in English? It means the subject complement of the linking verbs. And some of the linking verbs are the following. The first verb is verb to be is am um, are. The second verb is uh, sound sounded sounded, and the third verb is seen 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 seen. And we have also the verb feel feel felt felt, and the verb taste tasted tasted. And you know that in English there is no sentence without a verb. So these verbs, these linking verbs, are written in the sentence, but we don't translate them into Arabic. So the sentence seems as al jumla al ismiya in Arabic that contains mubtada wa khabar. So al uh, khabar fi al-lugha al-Arabiya must not be an object in English. So al uh, khabar must be a subject complement of linking verbs. The last thing about the nominative case is the opposition which is called al-badal fi al al arabiya walakin yujad badalan badal lil maf'ul wa badal lil fa'il and in the nominative case we mean the al-badal uh, uh, that is connected with the subject al-badal li ism al fa'il only and it is a word that is used after the subject directly like the following sentence my friend john is coming tomorrow so john is 
uh, opposition for the subject my friend and it comes after it directly so that's everything about the nominated case hope you understand everything i explained to you thank you for your watching bye bye